What's going on, y'all? This is your man Vic, House Son of Columbia. Look, man, I am on a listing appointment right now. Uh, I'm in Irmo, South Carolina, getting ready uh, to meet uh, the sister of the homeowner. The homeowner, she lives, uh, you know, out of state uh, right now for her job. So she wants to sell her home. She had a renter in it. And hey, she's just tired of the headache dealing with the renter. If you or someone out there right now that owns a home, uh, and you're either out of the country, out of the state, or you just have it as an investment property, and you're tired of, tired of dealing with uh, renters, give me a call. I'll get the house off your hand. I'll get it sold. All you got to do is call me, Vic, the house owner of Columbia. This will be my fourth listing in three weeks. Four listings in three weeks. All right, guys. So, just walking around the perimeter. <laughs> Sound like I still like I'm still in the army talking about the perimeter. But yeah, I'm just walking around on the outside, checking everything, looking at everything. All right. So this is gonna be the new listing here. All right. So we're just gonna check everything out. My wife is just pulling up. Notice, if you see my videos, you know two car look. I like being on time. And on time don't mean we be here at 530. The time we're supposed to meet. On time mean 520. That's what they say in the army. If you're on time, you're late. If you're early, that's when you're on time. So I did accept to go ahead and sell the home. Um, you know, because it was some things, uh, like I said, that intrigued me. I do see the opportunity based on all the uh, uh, work that I've done uh, looking at what's in the neighborhood what is sold uh, what she what she owes what she can actually get back it is going to be uh, worth uh, her while to go ahead and sell the home uh, it's in Irmo so if you're looking for a home in Irmo South Carolina three bed two bath give me a call let me know if you're renting right now and you're looking to live in the Irmo area, three bed, two bed, all you gotta do is give your man Vic a call. I got a place for you. All right, y'all, we headed in the movie. Um, you know, ending the weekend, Sunday. My daughter's at her grandma house. We about to go watch Birth of a Nation, see what this is like. And look, do y'all see, look, I, I got dressed first. My wife, she always be wanting to be like me, dress like me act like me which that's not a bad thing acting like me i don't want to act like you <laughs> <laughs> it's okay baby i mean when you've been with somebody almost eight years hey the good things rub off on them i guess <laughs> <laughs> all right so all right, we're gonna give you our critique on birth of a nation after we are out of the movie all right yo yo man I said I was going to give y'all our critique on this movie, but what I'm going to do first yeah, is talk about my critique on this damn food. Hey, let me listen. Now, this is the reason why people are going to the fire stick. I have a fire stick at the house that I put the, I jailbroke on my own. And, and so, who, what they going to do? Listen. I went ahead and got a, a fire stick and got all the movies and everything. Anything I, I want. Every, anything I want on there. Okay? So that's why people don't need cable no more. And, and that's why people stop going to movies. Listen to this, y'all. First of all, it cost us $17 to get in the movie together. It was on matinee, so I couldn't use my military discount because they say it was cheaper. You know how they do. So, all right, we got that. $30 to eat this is why now i asked my wife before we went in there i said baby you got your michael Kors purse she got, that's the big one she got a real big one she got it oh i can't fit nothing in here today because she don't want to go in there and be hood i don't mind it she trying to lie oh i don't have space you a damn lie you got space in that purse right so here's what happened I decided to go ahead and say we are gonna go ahead and go go to the movie and eat. You decided to say this is the last time that I will go against my better judgment and walk in a movie 
<laughs> either hungry one and if I go hungry I'm gonna have food in her purse her purse buy me so the food was seven dollars and 49 cent for a burger with fries now I have not eaten meat in over a month beef at all in over a month I've only I went a month with only eating vegetables beans veg I was vegetarian all right then I started eating cod and shrimp that was it so today I said you know what the Cowboys play it's Sunday I'm feeling good feel like we're gonna win I'm gonna get me a good burger in my system it's been oh it's been a month and a half seven dollars and 49 cents for a burger 50 cent for the pepper jack and five dollars and 49 cent for a drink a medium drink her meal chicken sandwich and fries 749 50 cent for the pepper jack and 599 for her medium slushy thirty dollars and 21 cent fifty dollars to go to the movies it'll never happen again never will it happen again i'm too frugal for that i'm cheap anybody that know me know i'm cheap i don't like spending money so this the last time regal this, this, this the last time regal all right either I'm, I'm coming i'm coming in the back door to the movie if i go and not watch it on my fire stick and i'm coming with food in her purse just know it anyway you better buy him a man a man bag i will not happen <laughs> he must be crazy so that's my first critique about this guys i'm telling you inflation is a mug now to our critique i am one of those people that really am tired of slave movies you know i want i want to see the history but i like that he showed another side of it like yeah it was slavery times but it wasn't just like a roots type thing you know i want to show that we have different elements of history of black history and and he showed that different element of, of black history in the way that he did did it turn out good for nate parker with, i mean uh, with uh nat turner with what he did no it did not but i think what it did it got people's Why are you telling the movie, though? mind i'm not telling the movie <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> i think it got people's mind turning and open the conversation because at that time when word probably got around to different uh you know slaves it probably made somebody say man i'm gonna stand up i'm gonna step up i'm gonna do it you know it gave the it emboldened them you know and it's almost like the colin kaepernick thing until he took a knee um and based on his his uh his feelings uh, towards the injustices going on with the national and, and he took a knee for the national anthem nobody else was taking a knee nobody else was taking a stand nobody else was raising their fist but it emboldened other people that maybe had the same thought but didn't have the courage to do it so that's one that's that's my uh insight on it that i think that it's something that was needed it was necessary and it was a well put together movie and i would suggest going to see it um because again it is a part of black history and it is true not a fictional story it is a true story what you think about um i think it's one of those things you know like how people say you don't really live your life for yourself you live it for other people or as a testimony for someone else i think it's a true definition of that like even though like you said it wasn't a win for him at the end base but really it was a win for all people so what he did was he started the movement or put the gave people the mindset to want better and do better so he planted that seed to other people um into other people basically so right, it right. was much needed and it was a great movie so yeah i think you should go see it i mean it, it is a movie that you might walk out like how should i feel right now that's what <laughs> that's what felicia said like how should i feel i don't know if i should be angry or sad should yeah. i cry should i be hurt sad it did take you through a lot of emotions a lot of different yeah. emotions and this one here will cry and it's not just that movie <laughs> on movies you know love stories Let's and all this other stuff this i'm no like really are you crying you know but 
<laughs> anyway, we're not gonna make this too long. We're about to go in here and we're gonna show you uh, how the house is coming along for our client. Um, that will be closing here pretty soon. Abney Hill Estates, great um, neighborhood, a basement home. So we're excited about that. And I have to hurry up because at 425, uh, the Cowboys play the Green Bay lose. Packers. Shut up. The Cowboys hey, hey, lose. Hey, so hey, we hey, hey. Don't be disrespectful. The Cowboys lose. Today. In the words of Stephen A. Smith, don't you be disrespectful. So